the name of Jesus. Let's have our seat briefly. We are moving into the session of prayers. And I want us to open our Bibles to take a text this morning. We are reading from Revelations chapter 3, verses 14 to 19 together. And I want you to pay close attention to these words this morning. I read, And to the angel of the church of the Laodiceans writes, This thing says the Amen. The fruit, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God, I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. I could wish you were cold or hot. So then, because of your uh, lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Because you say, I am rich, I have become wealthy, and have need of nothing, and do not know what that you are wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked. I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in the fire, that you may be rich and white garments, that you may be clothed, that the shame of nakedness may not be revealed, and anoint your eyes with eye salve, that you may see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Therefore, be zealous and repent. I want us to rise up to our feet this morning as we use this text to draw out our scripture. The title of our prayer this morning is, Lord, deliver me from lukewarmness in faith. Lord, deliver me from lukewarmness in faith. We we'll pray and say, Lord, ignite my heart with the fire of your spirit in the name of Jesus. Lord, ignite my heart with the fire of your spirit. I receive grace to be fervent and passionate in my work with you in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice to God this morning and let him hear you speak to him. Let him ignite your heart this morning with the fire of the Spirit. I receive the grace to be fervent and passionate in my work with you, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I ask this morning that you ignite my heart with the fire of your Spirit in the name of Jesus. I receive the grace to be fervent and passionate in my work with you. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Say, Father, keep me from spiritual complacency in the name of Jesus. Father, keep me from spiritual complacency in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Father, I ask this morning that you keep me from spiritual complacency in the name of Jesus. Stir up my heart to hunger and thirst for more of you in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask that you stir up my heart to long and test for more of you in the name of Jesus. I would never would be, become comfortable or stagnant in my faith in the name of Jesus. I grow daily in the name of Jesus. I increase in faith daily in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, keep me from spiritual complacency in the name of Jesus. I ask that my heart be stirred up in the name of Jesus to hunger and thirst for more of you. I would never become comfortable or stagnant in my faith in the name of Jesus. I would never become comfortable or stagnant in my faith in the name of Jesus. I grow and increase in faith daily in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Say, Lord, strengthen me. Strengthen me, strengthen my resolve to be hot in my faith in the name of Jesus. It is a personal decision. You have to ask God this morning to strengthen your resolve to be hot in faith in the name of Jesus. Lord, 
In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We have nine more prayer points. But I want us to read Hebrews 11.1. 1. That is what faith is. So when you become stagnant in faith, you will know yourself. Let's read it together. One, two, go. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. I want us to go back to the scripture. I want to just bring out something in one minute. Go back to the scripture we read. There was a complaint of God about the Laodicean church. Talking about that when they became rich, what happened to them? They started saying we are wealthy. And they saw that they were not looking at the aspect of their being poor without God. That is a case. Another case is of those who are poor and are saying they are poor. When the word of God says what? Let the poor say I am what? I am what? He said Jesus, he became poor so that through his poverty we will become what? Rich. So there are two categories of people. And I want, us, I want to pray those prayers with that understanding this morning. The Lord help us as we pray in the name of Jesus. Say Father, reveal to me any area of my spiritual blindness in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Say, Father, reveal to me any area of my spiritual blindness in the name of Jesus. Open my eyes to see where I have become indifferent or spiritually lazy so that I will repent and be restored this morning in the name of Jesus. Open my eyes to see where I have become indifferent or spiritually lazy so that I will repent and be restored in the name of Jesus. Open my eyes, O oh God, to see where I have become spiritually indifferent, spiritually lazy, so that I will repent this morning and be restored in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. When in the world people are complaining of hunger in Nigeria, what does the word of God say you should say? What does the word of God say you should say? I live in what? Abundance. Because you will say, as you say it, the Lord is going to do what? Establish it in your life. And when you start complaining with others, what are you going, what is happening to you? You are becoming lukewarm. In what? In faith. The Lord will strengthen us this morning in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, help me to embrace your correction and discipline in the name of Jesus. Father, help me to embrace your correction and discipline in the name of Jesus. Teach me to respond with humility and with willingness to change when you rebuke and chasten me in the name of Jesus. Help me, O oh Lord, help me, O oh Lord, to embrace correction and discipline in the name of Jesus. Help me, Lord, to embrace correction and discipline in the name of Jesus. I respond with humility and I receive the grace to have willingness of heart to change when I am rebuked or chastened in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Say, Lord, give me the grace to maintain a burning faith in the name of Jesus. Lord, give me the grace to maintain a burning faith in the name of Jesus. To be vigilant in prayer, diligent in your word, and fervent in my love for you. In the name of Jesus. Lord, give me the grace to maintain a burning faith in the name of Jesus. To be vigilant in my prayer, to be diligent in your word, and fervent in my love for you. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Father, deliver me from the deceit of self-sufficiency and insufficiency in the name of Jesus. There are two sides to it. I've explained it earlier. Some are deceived by it because they have more than enough. Why some are deceived? Because they don't have. You have to pray against both this morning and the Lord will strengthen us this morning in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, deliver me from the deceit of self-sufficiency and insufficiency in the name of Jesus. I ask for the strength you give daily to keep my faith alive and active in the name of Jesus. Father, deliver me this morning from the deceit of self-sufficiency 
and insufficiency in the name of Jesus. I ask for the strength that you give in the name of Jesus. So I will keep my faith alive and active in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Say, Lord, help me to recognize the dangers of lukewarmness. Lord, help me to recognize the dangers of lukewarmness in the name of Jesus. Convict me when I am tempted to be indifferent or to compromise and give me the courage to choose you wholeheartedly in the name of Jesus. Lord, help me to recognize the dangers of lukewarmness in the name of Jesus. Help me to recognize, O oh Lord, the dangers of lukewarmness in the name of Jesus. Convict me when I am tempted to be indifferent or to compromise and give me the courage to choose you wholeheartedly in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Three more prayer points. Say, Father, renew my zeal for your kingdom. In the name of Jesus. Father, renew my zeal for your kingdom. In the name of Jesus. Father, renew my zeal for your kingdom. In the name of Jesus. Let the fire of your spirit burn brightly within me. Drive out any lukewarm attitude in me. In the name of Jesus. Drive out any lukewarm attitudes in me in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of your spirit burn brightly within me. Drive out any lukewarm attitude in me in the name of Jesus. I receive grace this morning. Let your kingdom be renewed. The zeal for your kingdom. Let it be renewed in my heart. Let it be renewed in my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Say, Lord. Help me to stay spiritually awake and alert in the name of Jesus. Help me to stay spiritually awake and alert in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. This particular text that you are looking at, which is our prayer point, some people are spiritually dead. You see, God is bringing abundance your way. All the devil has to do is to make you use your mouth to reject it. God is bringing what? Abundance your way. What will the devil do? He will simply let you use your own mouth to push it away. God is bringing surplus. And you just say, I don't know what is happening. I don't know why I don't have. And you will not have. I don't know what is happening. But this is the confidence I have. The Lord will supply all my needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Do you see the difference? There must be a position you must take. Now take the prayer point again and say, Father, Father, help me, O oh Lord, to stay spiritually awake and alert in the name of Jesus. Guard my heart against spiritual slumber and keep my face strong and vibrant, always ready to respond to your call. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Help me, O oh Lord, to stay spiritually awake and alert in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Father, lead me into deeper repentance in the name of Jesus. Father, lead me into deeper repentance. In the name of Jesus. Father, lead me into deeper repentance. In the name of Jesus. Help me to turn away from any attitude or action that have caused my faith to be weakened. And to pursue a life of holiness and devotion to you. In the name of Jesus. Help me, O oh Lord. Help me, O oh Lord. Lead me into deeper repentance. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, lead me, O oh Lord, into deeper repentance. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. It's just one prayer point that is left now. When I use the word deeper repentance, is that repentance? Yes. There's nothing wrong in you eating in the morning. Is something wrong? But before, when you at night yesterday, the Lord told you, don't eat tomorrow morning. Wait on me. I want to speak to you. Now, if you eat tomorrow morning, what have you done? That is not ordinary repentance. It's only you 
you can be in a garden where everybody is eating, but you are the only one sinning there now. Are you not the only one? Because God told you, don't eat tomorrow morning. Wait on me. I want to talk to you. The last prayer point this morning. Say, Father, fill me with the fullness of your spirit. Father, fill me with the fullness of your spirit in the name of Jesus. Father, fill me with the fullness of your spirit in the name of Jesus. Empower me to live a vibrant and victorious Christian life in the name of Jesus. Free from lukewarmness in the name of Jesus. Father, fill me with the fullness of your spirit. Empower me to live a vibrant and victorious Christian life. Free from lukewarmness in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask specially this morning that you fill me with the fullness of your spirit in the name of Jesus. Empower me to live a vibrant and victorious Christian life in the name of Jesus. A life free from lukewarmness in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Begin to thank the Lord this morning, specially for answers to every prayer you have altered this morning in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, I thank you for my prayers are answered in the name of Jesus. My life will be far from living a lukewarm faith life in the name of Jesus. I am strengthened in you by faith in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed.